In this video, we're gonna be reviewing the steps of how to pair your Bluetooth chip and your QLogic 3 expandable electronics to a computer or Windows tablet. To start off, you'll notice that we have three icons on the home screen. We're gonna make a left command with the joystick, go down to Bluetooth operation, highlight it and make a right command. And since we're using a Windows-based tablet, we're gonna check off mouse. Mouse function is gonna allow us to pair with the device. So I'm gonna go back to my home screen and now we have a fourth icon. The fourth icon lets me know that Bluetooth is now ready to be paired. So I'm going to make a right command from my home screen, which is gonna send me into my auxiliary profile where my Bluetooth connections will be stored. I'm gonna to go to mouse connections. It's a new connection, because I haven't connected to the computer yet. So I'm going to make a right command. And this screen here is telling me that this is my ID number for the Bluetooth chip. So I have to pair with that particular ID number on my computer. You'll notice right now that the mouse is grayed out and the top bar is a black background. That's telling me the device is not paired with the wheelchair electronics yet. So on the computer, we're gonna go down to the bottom bar and there's a little arrow right here, which signifies a menu when you click on that. So we're gonna go to the Bluetooth icon to Bluetooth devices, click on it, go to show Bluetooth devices, And at the top here, we have add Bluetooth or other device. We're going to click on that. Bluetooth, mouse, um, and other devices. We wanna click on adding that device. And we're gonna be looking for mouse 1408. So now we have mouse 1408 down the bottom of the list here. I'm gonna click on it. And I'm gonna get the connect and cancel on the screen here, but on my wheelchair, I'm going to receive a message that says confirm Bluetooth pin. This is always the correct pin. It does match up. I'm gonna give a forward command on my joystick to accept the connection. I'm gonna to go to my computer and click connect. Now you can see that the mouse has turned blue and the top bar is blue. That shows me that I'm now connected to the actual computer itself. And if you look at my computer screen here, I now have full control over my mouse. Those are the simple steps to being able to pair your electronics with your computer. And I'm gonna close this window out by using a dwell feature that's available and I can make a left mouse click. Once I dwell for long enough, it switches to mouse clicks on the wheelchair and I close that window out, simple as that. If you have any questions, please contact your local representative from Quantum Rehab and they can assist with any questions you have in regards to pairing to a computer.